Many of our lakefront communities are going to deal with potential flooding as a result of extremely windy conditions we're going to be seeing this weekend. So our Sydney, you're headed down to Hamburg to see how neighbors there are preparing for potential floods two years after a similar storm system left scenes like this in that area. Here at the Lake Erie shoreline in Hamburg, things seem to be pretty calm for now. The tide doesn't appear to be going up too high. It isn't too windy just yet, but officials here tell me that this weekend is going to be a completely different story. When it gets bad like this, it gets, it's just too stressful. So we, we leave and we'll come back afterwards. Hank Kleinfelder has had a home in Hamburg's Hoover Beach neighborhood for four years and says when you have this for a backyard, battling storms is inevitable. Windows can get broken, doors can get broken. He says he puts heavy duty boarding on the back of his house all winter long, but has added more in preparation for this weekend. I add the height and I do the second floor because believe it or not, the waves will hit this and splash and then the high winds will blow everything into the house. But the waves and winds aren't the only things residents have to worry about. The sage is combined with the um, winds that are anticipated. Um, that's going to spell again, you know, disaster for that. We have overhead power utilities that serve this community. So if the power utility uh, gets cut out, then we're going to lose heat and, um, you know, electricity to their to their homes too. Hamburg's emergency manager Sean Crotty says the sage in this case is when the Cleveland side of Lake Erie drops while the lake level here rises. So combine that increase lake level with the wave action that we're anticipated to see from the high winds and you're going to see waves that are you know crashing over these homes. We do expect flooding off of Lake Erie. Uh, right now, we expect about three feet above the lake level. New York State Homeland Security's Jackie Bray says to also expect winds up to 60 miles per hour and whiteout conditions. I know we all want to see our family uh, for the holiday. My best advice is if you can get where you need to be tomorrow and plan to be there through Sunday, that'll keep you safe. So again, safety is going to be the top priority this weekend. If you are in the Hoover Beach neighborhood, as you continue to prep for the storm, check in with your neighbors to make sure everyone around you is safe as well. For now in Hamburg, I'm Sydney, your 7 News.